Hello everybody and welcome on board this Sea Lion S25 for a good look around our cockpit and interior in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking and we hope this really great idea will give you an idea as to what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? All you need to do is drag your screen or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look where you like. How cool is that? Now, some people are a little bit sensitive to the, the movement of the camera. If that may be you, I'll let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes. And then once the camera's safely back down, I will let you know so you can come back to us and continue the tour. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are in this lovely cockpit. As you can see, starting from the top, we've got a lovely great big cockpit tent, tons of headroom. We've got the extra room out here because we're insulated from the outside, so we can still sit in here in the cold and the rain, which is lovely. Very nice, easy companion way to get through there. The, the back Sorry, the back and the sides all roll up and down so we can just revert to a bimini if you like or have one side open or closed. Good access to the side decks just to step up through the side and then forwards. Uh, on this side you can see we have a nice little fridge in here underneath the shelf. We have uh, cockpit speakers either side and nice bench seats forward and after where you're sitting on the lovely saloon table there. So lots of room for eating and uh, sitting around and having a lovely, lovely time. Nice carpet down here, which is tailored to the boat as well. All you need to do is rip, whip that out of the way, uh, lift this seat up, and we have great access to the engine down below. Lovely, lovely clean engine uh, bay on this boat. Very nice and easy. So how cool is that? So let's pick you up for the first time, and I'll take you forwards, and I'm just going to place you there on what is a quasi nav station. So we have a little lift up area here uh, where we can put a chart under there if we want to, if, if we're still using uh, paper charts. But I always recommend you do. But you can see we've got this really lovely home area. We have the companion way down there we've got a gas locker here we've got a storage locker here we have an access hatch here to the uh, aft cabin down below lovely bench seating here with two separate backs as well and then once we're into this area if we're going to helm the boat or sit next to the helm we've got the throttle and the tilt controls to the right hand side we've got the uh, dsc vhf here we have uh, speed and depth here electrics panels trim control the steering wheel itself obviously really important and the uh, instruments fascia here so we have engine speed engine hours fuel tank contents engine water coolant temperature engine oil pressure engine alarms and battery voltage there as well coupled with the the, uh, the compass up forwards and a really really great view all around if you just take a, a, a moment to have a look around here you can see we've got windows everywhere fantastic for watch keeping at sea or just enjoying that view lording it up over your neighbours very nice indeed really lovely bright cockpit and as you can see the sun streaming in I'm feeling really great about being here but let's pick you up and we'll take you downstairs through the very easy uh, companion way so there we go the companion way just slides open and close and I'll place you in the middle of the compartment there there we go so you you're in the saloon. First thing we encounter as we come down the companion way, so two or three, four steps down, we've got this uh, galley unit here, we've got a nice cupboard underneath, we've got uh, the cooker here with two burners. This lifts up and gives us a nice hob. Uh, these two obviously lift out of the way first. We've got a nice sink unit here with a really nice draining unit there, so this lifts up, we can do a washing up, put it back down, looks great, and you have a, a little bit more uh, work top there too. And underneath, underneath here, more storage with a shelf, more storage up here. And then as we go around the rest of the compartment, we can see we've got cream, we've got white, we've got a kind of a greyish blue upholstery along here as well. Lovely, lovely wood. This boat's been really, really well looked after. You can see very, very shiny stuff everywhere. A lot of it does really look new to me. So uh, yeah, fantastic, well kept by previous owners. We have two windows that open either side, a hatch above with a blind as well for light and air through there. Nice mirror at the front gives us that more uh, illusion of space. Uh, U-shaped seat, seating around the uh, saloon here, table drops down and uh, I think we might have an insert, uh, but either way, it makes into a lovely, lovely great big double bed there, the biggest I've seen for a long time. And we have storage under the port and I think, do we have, yes, storage under starboard as well and uh, essentially lots of room down here to do what you need to do. On the right hand side here, instead of the galley, we've got the, the heads compartment here, where I'll show you in a moment. Here we have a cupboard with a fiddle shelf, TV, clock and barometer, two cockpit speakers down here too, and a nice big hanging locker here as well, which has uh, been given some shelves inside. So uh, really, really nice area. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, very modern feeling, smells great, looks great. Head height, I'm five foot nine, so about 5'10 here. 
opening up a little bit here, slopes down as the coach roof slopes down, so it will go down a little bit towards the front of the boat. But that way, you're only going to be outside the boat, so it doesn't matter, or in here where you're going to be sitting down there or sleeping generally, so I wouldn't worry too much. Really good. Right, let's pick you up again, take you through to the heads. I'll try and put you somewhere safe. There we go. Hope you don't fall over. There we go. So you're in the uh, in the head's compartment. So nice and easy to get into straight from the cockpit. If you just need to pop to the loo. Once you're in, good head height again. Shower here. We've got hot and cold running water. We have nice shelves for all your uh, shower gels, etc. Quite cosy, but plenty of room in here to stand or sit. I think uh, a nice. Uh, uh, electric head has been fitted with macerator, holding tank, etc, etc. And you have, just above your head, you've got a nice opening window there. Very, very clean and shiny, as is the rest of this boat. Really nice place to be. Very, very impressed. Really good. Okay, let's pick you up again and uh, we'll whip you out of the head. Close the door on that and uh, I'll place you in the middle of the aft cabin so you're safely down again. Now you notice I'm on my knees because it's a crawl into here, as with most boats of this type. So we have a, uh, a privacy curtain here, something to stop you bumping your heads on, but it's a crawl in. And once you're in, you're only going to lay down in here or sit in here and uh, either sleep or read. And uh, limited headroom here, but I think there's probably enough room to uh, perhaps recline and read. You've got a nice headrest at the back or backrest there. But once you're further in, if you look up, you can see you've got a much greater head height in there. And that's because we're using the area underneath the helm seat, which is really, really good. Nice wide bed, nice long bed as well. Access to a few bits and pieces through the bulkhead there. Nice, uh, nice, uh, deeply recessed and fiddled uh, shelving unit there. And did I mention the hatch out to the upper deck there as well, or out to the cockpit? So really nice sleeping area for this uh, this kind of boat. How cool is that? Right, let's take you out of there, and we'll finish off by going back upstairs, up the companionway, and I'll place you uh, near enough where we started, just on the face there. And we'll sum up by saying this has been Tim from Boatshire Job Brokers, just taking you for a quick tour in virtual reality of this Sea Line S25. Thanks for watching, and uh, do look at the rest of our YouTube channel because we have dozens more boat reviews there, all in virtual reality, to give you an idea what it's like to be there without actually being there. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.